If you're a small business owner, no matter what that business is, making sure you're using fonts correctly is pretty doggone critical. So it's important to know how to use fonts for commercial use properly and legally so you don't land in hot water or in court. Today, we're gonna learn the basics of using fonts for commercial use. I'm gonna show you some of the best places to find fonts that you can use for commercial use and even some freebies. And I'm also gonna show you how to upload those in Canva so you can use them in your projects. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Willow and I use Canva daily for my small business. And my channel is dedicated to showing people all the amazing things you can do with Canva, especially if you're a small business owner like me. So be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. Fonts are a tremendously important component to your branding, whether it's a business brand or a personal brand. Fonts have personality and they evoke emotion in the reader. So you wanna make sure that the font that you're using for your business conveys the same kind of message that you want for your brand. For example, my brand is meant to be friendly and cozy and welcoming. And I try to use fonts that evoke that same emotion. And since your font plays such a big role in your branding, that's why it's so important to make sure that you're using them properly and legally. You don't want to pick a font, use it for a few years, and then suddenly get slapped with some kind of lawsuit by the font's creator for not having the proper license to use it that way. Canva is full of great fonts that you can use for your business. But it's better to make sure that the font you're using is 100% covered by the fonts license and not Canva's license. If you create something outside of Canva using that font, it's not covered under Canva's license. And if you're using a font without a commercial license, you're opening yourself up to a vulnerability later on in your business. Really, there's no need to take that chance because you can get fonts from lots of different places that come with a commercial license. And it's so easy to upload a font into Canva. There's just no reason not to get your own font. So how do you know if a font is okay to use or if you need to have a license for it? To check and see if a font is a free Google font, I go to fonts.google.com and search here. If you search for a font here and it comes up, you know you can use it for commercial use for free. Google clearly says in their FAQs here, you can use these fonts without fees in your products and projects, print or digital, commercial or otherwise. And of course they do recommend that you consult a lawyer, but if it's a free Google font, you can use it commercially. If I searched Google fonts and it didn't come up in Google fonts, then I go to Google. Type in the font that I'm looking for. And you can see the one that I, I typed in is Sunday is coming. And it comes up on Creative Fabrica Fonts and More. So you know that that's a font that you'll have to purchase. Now, one of my favorite sites to get fonts is indeed Creative Fabrica. They have over 93,000 fonts. One of the best things about Creative Fabrica is the freebies. When you log on to Creative Fabrica, if you go to the top right corner here, here where it says freebies this menu opens and you can go to free fonts and it says free fonts for commercial use which means that these all come with commercial license to use the font in fact they have 3146 results under free fonts for commercial use my next favorite spot to get fonts is the Hungry JPEG. And if you click on the Hungry JPEG, at the very top it has freebies. On the drop down menu, go to Free Font Bundle, and they have a bundle that you can unlock by sharing it. And it has 22 different fonts in it. But they also have tons of fonts. And when you click on a font at the Hungry JPEG, you can see here under Licensing, Complete License. And if you click on that, this tells you 
all about their complete license. Another place to get fonts is Creative Market, and they have over 59,000 fonts. So when we look at one of their fonts, it comes with a desktop license. In their desktop license, it says the license font can appear in unlimited commercial and personal projects. So their desktop license is a commercial license that enables you to use the font for business. So let me show you how to download a font and then load it into Canva. So we're going to click the download button and you can see here. So now it's done downloading and it opens my file. Save this to my fonts folder and then I'll go back to Canva and I'll go to the home page. I'm going to come down here on the left and I'm going to click brand kit. You'll come over to the right hand top right hand corner. Click on the brand kit button and you want to name your brand kit and click create. Come over to the right hand side towards the bottom and you'll see the upload a font button. Click on that and open your files. Go to wherever you have your font saved. Double click your font. It will ask you to confirm that you own the custom font. Yes, and now your font is loaded. So let me show you what this looks like in a design from the artboard. So from the artboard, you'll want to go to text. So you'll add your text box and click the drop down menu and there's your font. And now you can use it in any of your projects. So now you know how easy it is to upload and use your own custom font in Canva. When it comes to using fonts legally, I always compare it to the scenario that if you created a product and somebody took that product and started using it without paying you for it, you wouldn't be very happy. And I would imagine that's how graphic designers feel when they find that their fonts are being used for commercial use without being properly paid for or the commercial license purchased. I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you did please click the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. I've included links in the description below for all the sites that we've talked about today as well as a link for my quick start guide to using Canva for beginners and my 223 Canva element keywords ebook. So be sure to grab those. So my favorite font is Sunday is Coming and it's by Creotype Designer on Creative Fabrica and I'll post a link to that font in the description below as well. I'm also super interested in hearing what's your favorite font. Which font do you like to use the most? Just post that in the comments below. If you have any questions about Canva or if there's something in particular you'd like to see a tutorial on, please post that in the comments below too and I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. I'll be back next week when we'll talk about branding your business or your personal style with Canva. Hope to see you then and until next week, have a great week and enjoy your Canva.